Oogie Noogie, welcome back to Uncanny Valley Woods. We are making marimbas uh, for my son's music teacher. And we made one uh, around Christmas time, and there's a video for that that you can go back and watch if you want. Uh, it's actually a larger marimba, it's a full size. Uh, but we're going to make some smaller marimbas um, that are a little bit better fit for a school music program. So the last marimba I built the case first and um, hey, that worked out fine. There was, there's, there's no real issue going case first. Um, but I'm actually going to be building uh, several of these. I'm not totally sure how many yet. So I, I decided that what we're going to do first is focus on the keys and I'm just going to kind of go through the material I have and see how many sets of these that I can make uh, based on what I've got and then we'll sort of work out how many of the cases um, and the resonating boxes that we build. So. If uh, my math is correct, and my math is not always correct, uh, I should get 58 keys out of this pile. Uh, with the smaller marimbas um, the keys don't have to be as long, so there's plenty of length in these, and they don't have to be as wide either, so there uh, should be enough, if I cut carefully, for two keys from each of these. The first thing that we need to do is make uh, one side flat and uh, get a flat edge on them, and then we'll run them through the table saw. So to the joiner, then to the table saw, then to the planer.
is completely um, brought to the right size, the right shape, uh, generally. So what we need to do now, before we tune them, is do any other removal that we need to on any of these, which means relieve the relieve the edges, uh, sand them, get all of the other parts of them as removed as, as, as we want. We'll drill out these holes and then we'll tune them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go through the entire process for tuning a marimba bar. Um, with these particular marimbas, it's a uh, single scale, so it's 13 notes, and these are these do not represent the longest bars on a, a you know full marimba. So um, there'll be slight changes to how we approach the bars in this size, and I'll kind of explain that as we go through. Mostly, it's just about the depth of the center cut. The depth of the center cut on the first. Uh, it looks like seven of these is going to be two millimeters. And then after that, we actually won't take a center cut. But what we'll do is we'll divide the bars in half of the line, and then we'll go um, half the distance on either side of that uh, line so that you're basically taking out one third of the length of the bar. Now, we're going to be chiseling. We're going to use the sander and we'll be checking for tune as we go along. Um, this same sort of procedure can be used to retune the keys, except you likely won't have to be as aggressive in removing material. It would just use a little bit of sanding. So the very first thing that we're going to do is go through all of these bars and find the center point one section at a time here. We'll mark that center point. And then we'll do a relief cut in the center on uh, the crosscut sled. For each of these, it needs a relief cut. And we'll do all of those steps first. This book um, about making marimbas is very useful and very good for a lot of reasons, but it's also very bad for a lot of reasons. And it, it mainly has to do with that there's an overabundance of information for things that maybe could be implied. And then there's an underabundance of information of things that probably shouldn't be implied. And so there's a little bit of figuring that you have to do on your own outside of the instructions to figure out exactly what you need to do in certain circumstances. In this case, it comes down to marking the part that you're going to take out. And, you know, logically you would think, oh, well, if I'm going in half, then I half again. And that, but that's not actually the right way to do it. What you should do is take the entire length and divide it into thirds. Uh, and then set one marker at the center gate at the center mark and then one at the third mark and then go through and mark it all so that you have one third one third one third you want to break the entire bar up into thirds okay so each of these is marked now uh, into thirds we're actually going to take uh, F and up and we're going to relieve a two millimeter cut right here at dead center and then we'll work to that cut as we remove material these aren't going to go as deep so there's no need to make a relief cut although i will probably score this uh, before starting Before we 
remove the center part, we're going to go ahead and sand these down, take off any other wood that we need to take off um, in sanding and shaping before we tune it. Then we'll start carving out the middle and walk back and forth to the sander to get it just right. <laughs> Okay, this is where things get kind of tedious. We're going to start with the highest notes, and the highest notes don't require any chiseling. So we're actually just going to um, build the tone uh, on the sander. We'll start in the middle and work our way out to here. We're looking for an E here, and just to give a baseline before we start sanding, let's just take one of these and we'll see where where we come out. That sounds like I'm speaking at an E. All right, so here we go. So it's looking like a B sharp. All right, so we'll start from there and work our way through. That's, it's somewhere between a G and an E flat. Check it again. That's an E. Alright, so now the cool thing uh, that will help me speed up the process note by note is that now that I have the correct shape, I can lay the next piece here and trace that line and I'll know an approximate depth that I need to to get to before we're just about on the money there so alright one down and about a hundred to go